from my scooter to a sports bike, from a cafe racer to a comfortable miles eating dual sport, the crossplane or a 270 degree offset twin cylinder has its own character, usable for any kind of a bike. There are never both cylinders stationary at the same time, which means a smaller flywheel and lower inertia torque. It also mimics a V-twin and sounds cooler. Triumph Thruxton 1200R Called after a circuit, the Thruxton originates as a special, based on a bone wheel, which managed to win top 3 places in the Thruxton 500 mile endurance race. The modern bike was first a 900cc, but then converted from a 360 degree to a burbly 270 degree engine design with a large displacement. Interestingly, the Thruxton has the very similar geometry and wheelbase as the Speed Triple, with Brembo radial 4 pistons. It's not all show only. Honda CRF 1000L Africa Twin Succeeding the all XVR Africa, discontinued in 2003, the new one is a CRF powered by a 270 degree parallel twin rather than a 52 degree V-twin. While the engine is completely new, packed into a very attractive styling, besides a conventional 6-speed, there is also a double clutch transmission, specifically tuned for both on and off-road conditions. Yamaha TRX850 The TRX was clearly aimed against the more expensive Ducati 900SS with a parallel engine designed to mimic a V-twin. The engine worked fine with a nice grunt, although significantly less powerful than a sporty 600 of its time. Supposedly, it was built cheaply for Yamaha's parts bin and never became anyhow popular. KTM 790 Duke According to many, the new middle-sized Duke is an amazing bang for a buck. Unlike the rest, the 790 has a 285 degree space crank pins to mimic the Super Duke 75 degree V-twin, which was placed into a balanced chassis with Superbike Spec Electronics. This cross-plane bike got nicknamed as the Scalpel, with multi-level traction control, quick shifter and field mode. Norton 961 Commando This modern Commando was engineered under old American ownership, which ended and the HQ moved back to the UK. It is based on the original frame from the 70s, with upgraded components and a modernized engine, which was left air-cooled with overhead valves. Now it fires in the 270 degree sequence, gaining that grunty sound it deserves.
Yamaha MT-07 The MT-07 may be the Subaru BRZ of the motorcycle world. It was built to be fun within a reasonable budget, is friendly to beginners, but can teach an intermediate riders as well. Its engine is the strongest part of the package with linear power and brutal sound with a proper pipe. Triumph Scrambler Being also based on the bone wheel, the Triumph Scrambler was inspired by an old model, the TR6C Trophy. Some of the inspirations are the exhaust pipes, mounted horizontally on the side with a crossover exhaust header. The engine was detuned to boost the low and mid-range torque and is supported by the Kaba suspension. Honda NC700 series The whole NC700 series is based on a single chassis with a single low revving engine which is economically tuned. It is 52 degree tilted forward for a lower center of gravity and besides regular versions like a Naked or Enduro, there is also a scooter, the NC700D Integra paired to a DCT. Triumph Bone Wheel T120. Here we have that few times mentioned bone wheel in its full glory. Unless a man knows his stuff, it is not that evident that the 1200cc T120 is a new bike covered in a vintage look. It's been refreshed after 41 years since 1975 with a new engine, but the design remained the same. Yamaha TDM850 The TDM850 comes from 1991, but engineers changed from 360 to two 70 degree firing intervals in 1996 to improve power delivery. Everything about the engine remained the same, only the torque peaks at higher number. Its successor, the TDM900, continued with this design. Triumph Thunderbird The Thunderbird was a cruiser built in the 50s and stayed true to its roots up to this very day. It doesn't look like a Harley Davidson and does not even have a V-twin, but rather a parallel twin of 1600cc that behaves like a 90 degree twin cylinder. There are two balancing shafts, two spark plugs per cylinder, Cahin fuel injection and a tall 6 gear for best possible fuel mileage.